Now, how will you find the equations of motion using calculus or using integration? Let us derive the first kinematic equation of motion that is V equal to V0 plus AT where V0 is the initial velocity, V the final velocity, A the acceleration and T the time. For its derivation, let us consider that a body is moving from A to the point B. That is at time t equal to 0, its velocity is v0 and after time let's say some time t equal to t that its velocity be v. Or let's for, for convenience take t1 and t2. Now we have acceleration acceleration a by definition it will be rate of change of velocity that is dv by dt or you can write dv by dt is equal to a implies dv equal to a dt we are considering the uniform motion which means acceleration always remains constant in, in this kind of motion a for derivation of kinematic equations of motion, we consider acceleration as constant. Now, in order to get the uh, velocity and time from the chain, from their change, what we have to do is we have to integrate this equation one. That is, integral dv is equal to integral a dt. Now. Here you can write this as integral dv is equal to, since a is a constant, you can take that a out, integral dt. Now you have to put the limit. See, when time t is equal to 0, that is, here the variable is time. So, time varies from 0 to t. Now, when the time is 0, the velocity, see, velocity is v0. And after time t, the velocity is v. So, velocity varies from v0 to v and time varies from 0 to t. So, the integral of dv is v. And you have to put the upper limit and lower limit. Upper limit is v and the lower limit is v0. Equal to a into, again the integral of dt is t. 0 to t. So, uh, by the procedure of uh, definite integrals, we have to first put the upper limit, then put the minus sign and then the lower limit. So, upper limit V minus the lower limit V0 is equal to A into, same here, upper limit T minus 0. So, V is equal to taking this V to the right, V0 plus here it is A. So, this is the way we find the kinematic equation using integration. Now, let us derive the second kinematic equation of motion. That is, displacement SC is equal to V0T plus half AT square, where A is the acceleration, T is the time, and V0 the initial velocity. Again, you consider the motion of a body from the point A to the point B. At time T equal to 0, its velocity be v0 and after some time t equal to let's say t its velocity is v now we have by definition velocity velocity of the body the equation of velocity v will be will be rate of change of displacement that is ds by dt displacement by time rate of change of displacement with respect to time will gives give the velocity that is ds by dt is equal to v or you can write ds is equal to v dt again ds is equal to by the first kinematic equation of motion you have v equal to v0 plus a2 Let's put that value in here. So this V become V0 plus AT times dt. So this can be written as ds is equal to 
V0 dt plus half, sorry, plus AT dt. Let's call that as equation number 2. So, in order to get the uh, ds or the total displacement, we have to integrate this equation. That is integral ds, we have to integrate the whole term, integral ds equal to integral v0 dt plus integral at dt. Now we have to put the limit. See, before that, let's take the constants outside, integral ds equal to here velocity, initial velocity always remains constant. So you can take that out in the V0 integral dt plus acceleration is constant. You can take that out A integral t dt. See here the variables are the displacement and time only. Okay. So when time is equal to 0, its velocity is V0. So the variable here, time changes from 0 to t. So 0 to t, here also the variable is time, so 0 to t, but when the time is 0, the displacement is also 0, okay, here the body is starting from the point A, so the displacement at the point A is 0, when the point is at the B, at B, the displacement is S, so at time t the displacement is S, okay. Now you have to integrate this one. That is integral of ps is s within the limits 0 to s equal to v0. See integral of dt is t. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is t plus in a into c integral x dx is x square by 2 so integral t dt will be t square by 2 again you have to put the lower limit and upper limit 0 to t simplifying this you will get s minus 0 first you put the upper limit minus 0 equal to v0 into here the same thing upper limit minus lower limit plus a into t square by 2 plus the upper limit minus 0 square by 2 log here. So this will be sc is equal to p 0 t plus a t square by 2. This term will become 0 or you can write sc is equal to v 0 t plus this 1 by 2 can be taken out like this half a t square. So, this is the second kinematic equation of motion. Now, how will you derive the third kinematic equation of motion? That is V square equal to V0 square plus 2AS. V is the final velocity, V0 the initial velocity, A the acceleration and S the displacement. Let's take the motion from A to B, A to B as we took before at time t equal to 0 the initial velocity is v0 and at after time t equal to some t its velocity be v let this whole displacement be s and all this case the acceleration always remains constant and we know acceleration acceleration of the body a is equal to dv by dt, the rate of change of velocity. That is a is equal to, this can also be written as dv, let's introduce a displacement, change in displacement dc, ds. In order to cancel this ds, you have to put the ds in the numerator also. Then dt. See these two equations are the same, ds and ds will get cancelled, dv by dt so the dv by dt remains okay now difference between these two equations now a is equal to dv by ds but we know the rate of change of displacement this term will be velocity okay ds by dt since since ds by dt will be the velocity 
If you take this ds to the left, you can write a ds equal to, this can be rearranged as vd. Now, in order to get the uh, complete displacement and complete the that is full displacement and the velocity, we have to integrate this equation one. That is integral a ds equal to integral v dv. Now this a can be taken out a into integral ds since the acceleration is constant is equal to integral v dv. Now let us put the limit. Here the variable is velocity. Velocity varies from v0 to v. So v0 to v. And the displacement varies from at the point A, the displacement is 0. At the point B, here the displacement is S. So 0 to S. Now let's integrate this equation A into C. Integral of ds is S. The upper limit is 0, upper limit is S. Integral of x dx is x squared by 2. So integral V dv is equal to V squared by 2. You have to put the lower limit v0 and the upper limit v. So simplifying this, you'll get a into s minus 0 is equal to v square by 2. First, you have to write upper limit minus v0 square, that this lower limit v0 square by 2. So a s is equal to v square minus v0 square by 2 taking this 2 to the left 2 a s equal to v square minus v0 square that is v square minus v0 square equal to 2 a s v square equal to taking this v0 to the right v0 square plus 2 a s so this is the third kinematic equation of motion